Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with part two of my summer perfumes video. So these are 12 more fragrances that I'm super excited to pull out and start wearing now that it has gotten hot. Um, it's really sad. We had actually a really cold spring, so I didn't get to wear a lot of my spring perfumes. I, I've been wearing winter fragrances up until about a few weeks ago. It's like we went straight from winter to summer, uh, which was really sad. We didn't get much of a spring. So some of my spring perfumes I pulled into my last, or to the first part of the summer video. I don't think that I've got any in this video though. These are all fragrances that are definite hot weather summer fragrances that I am so excited to wear. So I'm gonna start with an Untamed fragrance. This is the newest from Untamed and this is called Salish Sea. Sonata, the owner and perfumer of Untamed, sent this over, it was still winter, I think. It was still cold out. So I haven't gotten a chance to wear this in warm weather yet. And to me, this is a very, um, to me, this is gonna be a great warm weather fragrance. So, oh my gosh, Salish Sea is beautiful. This one is truly very unisex. This one doesn't lean feminine or masculine. This one is bright and airy and salty and woody and a little bit citrusy. It's fresh and clean and it's just gonna be amazing. I'm really, really excited to wear this one in the heat. So that is the first one, that is from Untamed and that is called Salish Sea. Okay, next we have a Chloe fragrance. This is Chloe Love Story. I will wear Chloe any, I'll wear any of my Chloe fragrances any time of year. Um, the Nomads are a little bit heavy for hot weather, but I don't care, I'll still wear them. And this one is definitely more like spring summer like. It's such an easy going, happy, like sweet floral. It's a little bit green smelling. It's it's stunning. I absolutely adore this fragrance. I love it in the heat though. There's something about this perfume in the heat that it just pops on your skin. Um, the sweetness comes out, it's fresh, but you get this beautiful sweet floral. It smells very feminine, very much like a beautiful sweet flower garden or something. It's gorgeous. I can't recommend Chloe fragrances enough. I just think that they're amazing. And I just filmed my unicorn video and I'm realizing I forgot Chloe, love Chloe, <laughs> which is also a unicorn. And I forgot, there are a couple more that I forgot. So I'm thinking I'm gonna end up having to do a part two to my unicorns video because as I was putting those fragrances away, I was like, oh, I forgot that one. Oh, I forgot that one. And now I'm just realizing I forgot Chloe too, so. Yeah, there's gonna be a part two to that. But anyways, yeah, that is Chloe Love Story. Amazing hot weather fragrance, though I love wearing this one any time of year. I just wore this one a few months ago. I just adore it. So Chloe Love Story. Okay, next, this is two perfumes, but I mix these perfumes to make the most stunning summer fragrance ever. These are two of the Guerlain Aqua Allegorias, and we've got Limon Verde and Herba Fresca. Herba Fresca is my favorite. It really does smell like fresh green herbs. It's a little bit minty, it's green, it's super fresh. And if you mix this with Limon Verde, which is exactly how it sounds, it's a lime heavy citrus fragrance, but it pretty much smells like a sugary, fresh lime. I mean, sugary, fresh lime, and then green mint and you end up smelling like the most delicious mojito. It, that's what it smells like. It's a phenomenal combination. Um, I will just overspray the heck out of both of these all over, and I can get a good, I don't know, three or four hours or so out of the combination when I wear it. I need to find a really, really good citrusy lotion. In fact, I think I've got, um, I may have the lemon lotion, the CO Bigelow lemon lotion. I need to see if I still have that. If I still have that and didn't give it away to somebody, then I will put that on and then I'll layer this over and I bet I'll get much more time out of it. But yeah, this is such an amazing combination. I love it. This is the, these are the perfumes that I layer on like the most scorching hot days that we have. It can get so hot here in South Carolina. It's, and it's really not even the heat. Usually it doesn't get above like 
the mid 90s sometimes it can get hotter than that sometimes it can get get up into like the high 90s but usually it doesn't what it is is the freaking humidity the humidity here is what will absolutely kill you um, it doesn't get so hot that it's unbearable but when it gets that hot and then it's humid outside too then it is unbearable because you walk outside and you start sweating immediately and you feel like you need to take a shower even though you just took one and yeah if you've ever been to the south in the summertime <laughs> you know but yeah the this is the best for days like that because this is the most like light refreshing just beautiful combination so anyways, that is Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde and Aqua Allegoria Herba Fresca, which is the winner for sure. Um, they're both gorgeous, but there's something special about Herba Fresca from Guerlain. Okay, next, this is a little cheapy perfume. I mean, it's not super cheap, but it's definitely in like the $20, $25 range. This is a fragrance from Korloff, and this is called Korloff Gold. And... I am a little bit obsessed with this perfume. Um, and for the longest, this was not performing well on me, but oh my goodness, over the last couple of years, this one has been performing better. And if I layer this over lotion, it lasts all day. This is the most beautiful light coconut fragrance. I think this has got like frangipani in it and in coconut, but this is, it's really, really light not light in the sense that it's like a fragrance that's going to disappear on you but light in the sense that it's not a heavy coconut and the, the white florals are not heavy it's not um, an overpowering white floral fragrance either it's just a really beautiful perfume and i know a couple of you have picked this up after i talked about it and i know at least one of you um, has commented and said that you picked this up after you bought it and you absolutely loved it And I was so happy to hear that because I love it, too um, I think it's really really underrated and yes, if you um, If you layer this over lotion, oh my gosh, it lasts forever and it's so good So anyways, that is Korloff gold next we have a Britney Spears perfume This is another one that I'll wear any time of year But I particularly love this one in the heat because this is one of those that in the heat this thing is a monster oh my gosh this is britney spears vip private show i love this perfume so much this is like a yummy gourmand but this i think this has got lychee in the top so there's this beautiful fruity brightness in the top and then as it dries down it starts to smell a little bit more like the original private show it's got a beautiful sweet yummy creaminess to it it's so good. I absolutely adore this perfume. I actually picked this one up before I ever even got Private Show, and I love them both. This one is so good in the heat, though. This is such a yummy gourmand perfume that just does really good in the heat. It's delicious. So that is Britney Spears' VIP Private Show. Okay, next I have an uh, Ocean Pacific fragrance. This is such an inexpensive perfume. Um, this is Ocean Pacific Summer Breeze. You can find this at Walmart for like, I don't even know, really inexpensive. I love this perfume. I don't know what it is. Some people think this smells really, really cheap. And I can kind of see why, but I love the way this smells. This is like pineapple and coconut. It's a really juicy smelling coconut really juicy smelling coconut and you can almost smell like a warm sand. Yeah, it's like a juicy, sweet coconut and warm sand. I love it. It doesn't perform the best. I can get, I don't know, maybe like four hours out of it. So it's not horrible. And especially for like a $8 perfume, $9 perfume, um, they have sets that it comes with the lotion and I bet this with a lotion that smells like this would be so good. Um, this would be amazing layered over a coconut lotion too though, or a pineapple lotion. Um, it's so good. I can't wait. I know the Bath and Body Works sale is coming up soon. Like, I don't know what is going to start at like, I think the end of June and I cannot wait. <laughs> Not that I need anything, but I just can't wait. 
but anyways, yeah, this is gorgeous. I love this. It's a juicy coconut. I've really never smelled anything quite like this before, and I just love it. It's a really light, breezy, juicy beach perfume. It's so good. So anyways, that is Ocean Pacific Summer Breeze. Next, we have a Stella McCartney perfume. I love Stella Bluebell Pop for spring. I love the original pop for summer though. Um, this is just synthetic tuberose and, th and synthetic sandalwood, and it's gorgeous. It's such an easy, breezy floral, like such an easy floral to wear. It smells so amazing. There's something about that combination of the sandal, or, yeah, the sandalwood and the tuberose that it really doesn't smell like tuberose. It really doesn't. It just smells, and it doesn't smell like sandalwood either. The combination smells like something totally different, like some other kind of mildly sweet flower. It's just amazing. I love it. This is an absolute beast on me too. Um, this lasts forever. This is another one that I think would make a great wedding perfume. It's like a warm, kind of nondescript floral, and it lasts forever. And I think it would make a great wedding fragrance. But yeah, I love this. It's a phenomenal summertime floral. So anyways, that is Stella McCartney um, Pop. Next, we have a Ralph Lauren fragrance. And this is one that I slept on this perfume for the longest time, and I finally got it. It's funny, somebody told me, I had a whole bunch of people tell me about this on a live, which I've got to go live again um, soon because I miss it so much. You guys have like tell me the best things on live. I sit there with a notepad and a pen and just take notes of all the fragrances that you guys tell me to try and then I'll find them. And I've found, I've had so many successes f from lives um, and this is one of them. So this is Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance, and this is the only perfume that I've ever smelled that actually just smells like a creamy raspberry fragrance. It smells like tart, juicy raspberries and whipped cream. And I've never really smelled another fragrance that, that smells quite like it that smells like actual raspberry. It's so good. It smells like raspberries and whipped cream. I absolutely love it. I love berry perfumes though. They're some of my favorites. Um, and this one is such a good one. It lasts forever on too. It performs so well. Um, it's just a phenomenal berries and cream fragrance. It's so good. I need to do a berry video. I've been saying I was gonna do one for a while, um, but I keep forgetting. But anyways, that is um, Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance. Okay, next, beautiful Tatiana sent this oil over to me. It's been a few months ago, and I've just been waiting for summertime to wear this because this is gonna be the best summertime oil ever. This is called Child, um, or Child Perfume, and this is, I'll link it for you. This is like a white floral. I think it's a, a jasmine perfume. Yeah, it's definitely a jasmine perfume. It's a little bit of an indolic jasmine though. I'm obsessed with it. It reminds me of, it reminds me of the old school Sand and Sable or old school Giorgio Beverly Hills. More like the old school Sand and Sable. This is what the Jennifer Aniston perfume was like trying to smell like, but it's, it's like a watery version of this. That's exactly what it is. This is like an intense version of the Jennifer Aniston perfume. Jennifer Aniston's like water compared to this oil. This is an amazing, like beachy, indolic jasmine. It's fantastic. I cannot wait to wear this. I still haven't worn it because like I said, it was like really cold when I first got this and I've just been waiting for the hot summer to wear it and it's finally here and I am so excited to wear this one. It is perfect. This is like summer in a bottle, especially if you're like an 80s, 90s kid like me, you will remember this. I mean, this will bring back memories for you. Um, oh my gosh, it's so good. So anyways, that is a child perfume. Okay, next is that oil I told you guys I was gonna talk about um, in this video, in the first one. This is the Jenny Glow Peony Oil. And this oil, 
Oh my goodness. It is the most beautiful, sweet, clean, really simple peony. And that's exactly what it smells like. It just smells like a sweet, simple peony. It's perfection. This oil lasts absolutely forever on. Um, you can easily get 10, 12 hours out of this oil. It lasts forever. And it's just such an easy to reach for, just perfect hot weather floral. I love it. It's sweet, it's clean, and it's just perfect. It's perfect. It's not too light. It's not something that's gonna disappear, but it's not heavy either, so it's not gonna choke you in the heat. It's just perfect. Um, I don't know if you can find this one anymore. I'll try to find it, and if I can, I will definitely link it for you, but yeah, I absolutely love this one. So anyways, that is Jenny Glow Peony. Okay, next we've got an Orlov fragrance. This is Orlov, just Orlov Paris, and this is phenomenal. This is like my go-to summer floral. This is, it's sweet. I think it's tuberose jasmine. It's like a sweet white floral. It's not heavy, It's but it's not super light either. It's sweet and clean smelling and amazing. It smells really, really similar to Ex Nilo Fleur Narcotique. If I'm saying that correctly, if I'm remembering correctly, I think I am. This smells really similar. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. It's a little bit similar to Initio Musk Therapy, except this has flowers in it. Um, it's kind of like that. It's like a really beautiful clean musk, but with but add a bunch of sweet white florals. It's gorgeous, not indolic at all, like sweet, fresh white florals. It's amazing, this is an absolute beast. This would be an amazing wedding perfume. If I could go back now, this might be, um, yeah, if I could go back now and if I had this perfume back then, yeah, I would have definitely worn this instead of this stupid one that I wore that was terrible. But anyways, that is Orlov from Orlov Paris. And then last but not least is a Justin Bieber perfume, and I love wearing these in the summertime. They are the most perfect out-of-the-shower out summertime perfumes ever. Um, this is Justin Bieber, the Collector's Edition or Collector's Edition. Um, I also have Justin Bieber The Key. They're both really similar, but I like Collector's Edition a little bit more. Um, these are beautiful. They smell like a clean, sweet shampoo. That's exactly what they smell like. Clean, sweet, and not like an expensive shampoo, like a clean, sweet drugstore shampoo. But they smell amazing. They're really... Um, very fresh, sweet, like a sweet fresh. They're so good, they just smell like shampoo, and I love them, I love them both, but I like Collector's Edition better. Um, this one's a little bit lighter than the Key, and I just like this one better. It's, I just love it. These have gotten difficult to find too though. I, I'm gonna have to see. I'll have to get on and see, but I'm pretty sure that these have become difficult. I This thing gets on my nerves though when I, oh, I can take it off. <laughs> I just I just realized that on the back of this little record thing, it says you're all that matters to me, JB. Really? I don't think so. But yeah, you can take this thing off. Oh, maybe I'll start doing that when I talk about it because I can't stand it when things fly around and hit the bottle when I'm talking about it. But yeah, that is collector's edition and it is, it's such a good one. I think it's difficult to find this one now though, which is super sad. So anyways, yep, there's that one. And that is gonna be it guys. Those are 12 more fragrances that I'm so excited to pull out and start wearing this summer. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.